Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com So students today we are going to do the second session for digital marketing terms So we have already done one session on digital marketing terms and we have already done an in-depth video on digital marketing and it's available on bankexamstoday.com So this topic is very important digital marketing I have seen every year there are like four or five questions at least four to five questions which is a very big number out of 60, four to five questions are from digital marketing terms. Digital marketing topics and terms, processes, it's in the exam. Very important, very important. Every year exam, there are 4 to 5 questions. So you need to cover it. You need to cover each bit. Terms are very important. Most of the times, <coughs> terms are the questions. Aate hai. Hai. So my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 10 years now. And this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, right? And you can download our free notes on bankexamstudy.com. And IBPS SO Marketing 2023 course is already available on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, and interview preparation guidance. That's part of the course. Link is available in the description. So let's start the session. ROI. <clears throat> Please watch the session one before continuing this. But as of now, what is return on investment? So ROI in digital marketing is a measure of profit or loss from a digital marketing campaign. Aapko kitna return mila investment se? How much uh, return that you have taken, that you have gained? So net profit, let's say you made a profit of 2000 rupees <coughs> after investing 10,000 rupees in the marketing, right? So your uh, ROI is 20%. So please remember the formula, okay? CAC, the customer acquisition cost, the customer acquisition cost. What is the cost of acquiring a new customer? A new customer acquire karne ke liye aapka jitna bhi cost ho raha hai. Sales and marketing cost divided by total number of new customers acquired. That is the customer acquisition cost. So to acquire one customer, how much money you need to spend? That is customer acquisition cost landing page for example the link available in the description for the course uh, you click that link and you will go to the course description page so you can read the description uh, so course description is there the price is mentioned there right uh, the mobile number is the the whatsapp number is there where you can ask your doubt so that is what that is a landing page that is a landing page so after clicking on the uh, the cta button uh, after clicking on the action button, uh, you you go to the landing page. So landing page is the page or the location uh, where the where you are going to take some action, right? The desired action, jo bhi action hai. So a landing page, pe what is the goal? Ahamara goal kya hai? To get the registration. So join the course button. We want you to click this button. We want you to take the trial and then we want you to join the course. That is the goal of the landing page. Influencer marketing. So when you collaborate with the influencers, who are influencers? YouTubers, uh, Instagram stars, Instagram, uh, somebody who makes uh, and who gathers a lot of attention on Instagram. Instagram pe reels banate hain, baut reels ekte hain logon ki, Telegram page hai kisi ka, YouTube, uh, YouTuber hai koi, related field mein. We pay them to promote our products and then we get sales, that is influencer marketing. What is the difference between influencer marketing and referral marketing? There is a difference between influencer and referrals. Influencers are, uh, you know, they target mass market. They have following. Influencers ko lakho log follow karte hai. Referral, uh, they, they won't impact the mass market. Referral marketing means you are asking your students, you are asking your customers to refer the products to their friends. They may influence 10 people, 20 people, that's all. An influencer can impact mind of millions of people. That is the difference between referral marketing and influencer marketing. What is a chatbot? Chatbot is an AI powered program that simulate user conversations. So AI is talking to the customers, right? So the conversation is totally automatic. They can be used for customer support, lead generation, and automated interactions. So that's the chatbot. 
what is push marketing and what is the difference between push marketing and pull marketing so push in push marketing uh, the business is not uh, you know the, what the business is doing business uh, it's a promotional strategy that involves businesses taking their products or services directly to the customers for example you see advertisements of um, let's say moto motorola phones or vivo phones on uh, on television you see their advertisements on youtube so that is push marketing the goal of push marketing is to get product seen by the consumers that is push marketing motorola or vivo but what about pull marketing so in that case in pull marketing is a strategy that aims to increase the demand for for the product or services by attracting customers to it what about iphone 15 pro it's an there's a hype about it they are not placing they are not spending much on the advertisements but still there is much more hype about iphone 15s than the the motorola or the vivo phones that is pull marketing attracting the customers push marketing you are going to the customers pull marketing you are attracting the customers and customers are coming to you that is pull marketing so difference pull marketing push marketing Mobile marketing, uh, it's, a, it's a method in which you are using uh, the methods of the channels of marketing to advertise your products via mobile phones, right? So you are uh, techniques to promote and optimize content for mobile devices, smartphones. So that is mobile marketing. You are making mobile apps. For example, uh, bank exams today, bank exams today. We started this blog. I started this uh, the bank exams today in 2013, I guess. Yes, as a blog. It was a blog. Eventually, in 2018, we launched the app because a lot of students were using the mobile devices. That is mobile marketing. Okay. CMS. What is CMS? Content management system. For example, we wrote till date. We wrote 11,000 blog posts blog post on bank exams .com, so how to manage those blog posts hum jo content likhte hai, article likhte hai, even if you are writing it how you're going to manage it there are certain content management systems for example wordpress is there the most popular content management system you directly upload your articles here you directly upload your videos articles notes on the on the system and there will be a proper uh, website with a proper domain where students can uh, read that website, right? So that is what that is a content management system. That is a software that helps to you, that helps you to deliver your content. What is the open rate? When we send emails to the students, let's say I sent 10,000 students to 10,000 emails. Out of those 10,000 students, only you know, let's say 1000 students opened that email. So the open rate is 10%. Number of opened email divided by number of delivered email multiplied by 100. That is the open rate. Alt text. So for example, there is an image. Uh, the Google, the Google cannot read the images. I mean, in I guess in 10 years back, they were not able to read the images. That is why uh, we need to give an alt text to describe the image. We need to give an alt text to do describe the image. In other words, uh, let's say there is an image. There is an image of bicycle. Let's say there is an image of bicycle, right? So what we are doing is we, we are giving it an alt text of bicycle. Bicycle, that is a alt text. It's a proper tag. Hai. So we are telling the crawlers that it is a bicycle. So in other words, in simple words, uh, it provides a text, uh, textual alternative to visual information. Every picture ka aap jab bhi website banate ho, you give a, you give a proper name to the picture. Okay, that is what that is alt text, alternative text to an image. Anchor text. Whenever uh, you go to a website, right? So for example, click here and that is a link, right? And that is a link blue color with underline and click here is the anchor text. 
okay so it is a clickable text is known as the anchor text average position on google there are websites when you make a google search of let's say ibps so marketing just do this this is a homework marketing course so you will find bank exams today on one of the top 10 positions right so that is average position on google okay remarketing whenever you go to a, a website let's say uh, what you have done is you went to google and you search for ibps so so marketing course or whatever and you clicked on an ad or you clicked on a search result okay you opened the website right and you didn't do anything you close the website up chale gaye. next day you come back and you do uh, and then you will see uh, the advertisements from one of these uh, uh, providers and you will see their ads so that is remarketing or retargeting so it is a digital marketing strategy that involves showing ads to people who have visited a website uh, or used a mobile app. So if you have visited our landing page or installed our mobile app, we know that because you search that on Google app, Google pe hi aapne search kiya hai, aap Android hi use kar rahe ho, Google ka Play Store hi use kar rahe ho, most of, most of you, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll watch the ads. On Google ads, there is an uh, option to retarget there's an option to show the people ads who have visited our website. So that is retargeting or remarketing. We also call it remarketing. What is growth hacking? Growth hacking is a marketing methodology that uses cost effective tactics to achieve rapid business growth. So cost effective tactics kya ho sakti hai? Anything viral marketing of use kar rahe ho, hai? using TikTok or using Instagram Reels, something like that. Uh, Udemy, um, Teachable, Teachable did that in the past. Teachable did that in the past. Udemy did that in the past. Link building. In the past, what happened? See, how Google worked in the past. For example, this is Google. Google used to visit the top 100 website. Google used to visit the top 100 website. And these websites, they used to link to further, you know, websites, then okay. And then further, further, further. So that is called link building, right? That is what link building, for example, I started bank exams today. I wanted to be part of these website. I wanted to build link here so that Google can search me and Google can place me on its search engine. So that is link building. What is black hat SEO? This question was asked in the previous paper, previous IBPS SEO marketing paper. What is black hat and white hat SEO? Black hat is kind of illegal SEO, uh, unethical SEO. Hai. What you are trying to do is you are paying, uh, you are, you have bad content. Let's say you have an average content, bad content aapka content utna achha nahi hai and you are paying news websites to give you links right so unethically although your content is bad you are ranking at the top which is not good theek hai so what if somebody is not having money but he is having very good content what is the goal of google to give you the best information the most valuable information so if that is the case that uh, anybody can get higher ranking by paying the quality of the results at Google would be worst. That is why they don't want people to do this, uh, you know, paid links and all. Uh, so Black Hat SEO, this violates violates the search engine guidelines. Search engine has certain guidelines, jo uh, unethical hai, wo guidelines hai, unethical cheeze nahi kar sakte. So getting higher ranking by doing unethical things, illegal things, uh, that is black hat SEO white hat is uh, doing whatever Google allows you to do making good content high quality content right updates your website or page or you know uh, uh, the site structure is good the speed of the site is good that is white hat SEO email marketing using email as a tool to promote your product or services is email marketing maybe bhej dunga is class ke baad that is email marketing cost per lead 
सो हाउ मच यू आर पेइंग टू गेट वन लीड ठीक है सो लीड इज नॉट द सेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई गिव यू अ फ्री पी डी एफ एंड फाइव हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स गेव मी देयर ई मेल एड्रेस टू डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ एंड आई सेंट लेट से फाइव हंड्रेड ई मेल्स टू दॉ स्टूडेंट्स प्रमोटिंग माई प्रोडक्ट एंड लेट से आउट ऑफ दॉ फाइव हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट टू स्टूडेंट्स परचेज द प्रोडक्ट सो दैट इज अ गोल दैट इज अ गोल दैट इज अ कन्वर्जन सो ये फाइव हंड्रेड ई मेल दीज आर द लीड्स सो द मनी दैट आई स्पेंड ऑन ऑन दिस पी डी एफ लेट से आई रॉट लेट से हंड्रेड पेजेस एंड उस पर आई स्पेंड लेट से टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज आई स्पेंड ओके एंड आई मेड एट थाउजेंड रुपीज दिस इज लॉस मेकिंग राइट सो आई नीड एट लीस्ट टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज टू बी प्रॉफिटेबल राइट सो आई नीड एट लीस्ट थ्री सेल्स टू बी प्रॉफिटेबल सो दैट्स हाउ वी डू इट YouTube advertising using YouTube as a channel of promoting my products and services is YouTube advertising right now we are doing YouTube advertising pin interest marketing using pin interest you uh, is pin interest marketing Instagram marketing is using Instagram to promote the products banner ads in the side of any blog or website you will see a rectangle uh, with the you know uh, with the contents on it with an image that is banner ad behavioral marketing is a process of targeting specific audience uh, segment based upon their past interactions intentions geolocations to deliver more relevant and personalized content you might have noticed that uh, you see relevant ads whatever you search for you will see relevant ads that is very common bahut common hai ye campaign in digital marketing campaigns are usually see campaign when you Uh, when you have a goal in your mind aapke mind mein goal hai and you create an ad for that goal uh, okay and you spend you have a budget and you spend money on that and you go to a platform such as google ads or facebook ads right to aap ek uh, jo hai advertisement run karte ho that is known as campaign display advertising uh, see you are using banners or videos uh, to promote your products is display advertising inbound marketing is a strategic approach to create valuable content so you are creating valuable content that aligns with the needs of your target audience and inspire long term customer relationship that's what we are doing on bankexamstudy.com we are creating valuable content from a long time for our target audience preparing for the banking exams senior level banking exams that is a goal outbound marketing is a traditional marketing method that was inbound theek hai outbound we are we are reaching the customers doing cold calling tv ads print ads tv trade shows direct mailing it is expensive inbound is long term but cost effective outbound only big companies can do jaise badi badi company apne banner board lagwa leti hain aajkal physics wala kar rahe hain an academy on all all these people they have a lot of money we don't have referral marketing uh, that is the difference between influencer and referral marketing when your customers recommend your products to their friends and families that is referral marketing usually by a word of mouth retention marketing uh, it's a marketing uh, methodology that aims to maximize the value of existing customers ab existing customers se maximum revenue generate karna chahte ho Viral marketing is a business strategy that uses social uh, media to promote a product or service. The goal is to reach as many as people as possible, right? There can be the source can be a viral video, viral you know app that can be the case or a viral game. Podcast marketing you are using podcast to promote your products that is podcast marketing. Drip marketing so what you are doing is you wrote some email emails you you are you wrote some emails so pehli mail mein welcome dusri mail mein free pdf right you are giving free pdf tisri wali mein free webinar uh, okay there is a just join my webinar chauthi mein one to one uh, interaction okay and then the promote the product directly and the person is going to you know uh, buy the product and then if he doesn't give him a coupon 
so that is drip marketing that is automated uh, that is automatic on a set timing based on actions uh, you are sending emails that is drip marketing video marketing you are using videos to promote your product that is video marketing guerrilla marketing so it's a type of advertising that uses unconventional methods to promote the products or the services so that can be personal interactions viral social media messaging graffitis i mean that's unconventional generally low cost and generally unconventional methods permissions uh so you are giving your emails to me yourself okay i'm not buying your email ids i'm not buying any database you are giving me your email id to me to download a pdf that is permission marketing then i send you uh, the emails you are basically opting in to receive the promotional messages what is lead magnet lead magnet uh, for example i give you a free pdf link is available in the description right you open the link then i ask you for an email i give you the pdf and then i'll start sending you the emails i'll send emails to 1000 students out of those 1000 students maybe 5 students buy uh, the course and let's say the course price is let's say 2000 rupee or let's say it's 5000 rupee i made 25000 rupee so the cost of making that pdf was 10000 rupees and i made 15000 rupees okay that's lead magnet okay meta tags meta tags are the snippets of text that describes page contents so these meta tags jo hai basically nowadays they are not used but meta uh, uh, nee tags are not used but there is meta descriptions bahut use hoti hai ye title tags are there Des uh, description is there so uh, when you search for a google uh, on google there is a title on every uh, for every page there is a description that is uh, title and the meta description these are meta tags backlinks uh, site a gives uh, an external links to site b right and if site b receives a backlink from site a site a ne kuch link kar diya koi content hai usne link kar diya that is backlink blogging it's a digital marketing strategy that involves creating content that we do on bankexamfeder.com we are creating content to get ranking on google establish authority growing the email list building the brand so bahut sare goals hote hain block karne ke kora marketing kora pe apne products ko promote karna referral traffic is uh, getting traffic from other websites to the web, uh, to our website that is referral traffic UX or the user experience is a process of designing products, systems, services that provides meaningful and relevant experience to the users. Speed कैसी है, color combinations कैसे हैं, font कौन से use करे हैं, letter spacing कितनी है, line spacing कितनी है, all that matters. Unsubscribe rate. If I am sending email to thousand students, out of them ten students unsubscribes to my email, one percent is the unsubscribe rate. user interface is a broad term for any space that allows users to connect with a particular technology for example when you go to bankexamfeder.com you log in you see a dashboard and that is a user interface ek proper interface hai mobile app or desktop ek proper interface humne banaya for you that is user interface adsense so on a lot of website you see advertisements aapko bahut sari advertisements dikhengi right side pe which are most of the times very relevant so publishers are getting paid for that wo google ka product hai right publishers are getting paid for that and advertisers pay for it and google takes a cut which is generally 30% uh so what is adwords the name has been changed abhi adwords ka naam ho chuka hai google ads so publish uh, the advertisers they can go on google ads and they can pay for the campaigns and then on the adsense publishers can register on google ads advertisers can register canonical tag that is very important so let's say there are two pages on bankexamstudy.com jahan pe dono pe so bank ke headquarters ki list hai dono pe theek hai so there is page 1 and page 2 page 1 is new it is it's a better page okay it's it's bad so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a canonical tag on page 2 telling the the search engine that the uh, it's a copy of page 
go to page one give the link juice to page one only page one is good okay so it's a hidden message on the web page telling the search engine that the content on specific url is just copied and a duplicate of page one okay captcha to avoid the bots to avoid the spam spamming ko avoid karne ke liye bots ko avoid karne ke liye you might have seen this uh, these kind of text ki ye text fill karo to move forward that is captcha what is saas software as a service you might have used dropbox i hope you might have used dropbox so instead of buying a an ssd instead of buying a pen drive you got 20 gb space on dropbox for 5 years that is saas software as a service so instead of you know buying the whole uh, hardware you are licensing the software you are taking subscriptions that is software as a service software ko as a service le rahe you are not buying the whole dropbox right you are taking the service you are paying a monthly fee so students that was a pretty long lecture lengthy lectures right ibps so marketing 2023 course it's available on bankexamfred.com we have already started the mock test series as well for both phase 1 and phase 2 we are providing video classes notes live sessions weekly quizzes and interview preparation guidance everything is available on bankexamfred.com a uh, link is available in the description you can check list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind ask your doubts on my whatsapp uh, this is my number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts right and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day subscribe the channel and uh, link to join the course is available in the description thank you and have a very nice day bye bye